Hey, I want you to know I really appreciate you coming to visit. Save it, Dad. You know, I didn't fly all the way back here. Just have some pointless small talk with you. you no, know, Liz, you made that perfectly clear over the phone. Three days. Three days, and then I'm gone. You're telling me there's not any way I can talk you into staying maybe a little bit longer? You know, I was thinking maybe uh, we can go to that all-you-can-eat dinner tomorrow night. What do you think? You mean Liam's House of Grub? Yeah, yeah, remember? I used to take you there when you were younger. I thought it might be fun to go back and check it out. Wow. Really reaching for that bond, aren't you? Can you blame me, Liz? Actually, I can. Liz. Don't Liz me. Remember, you were the one who was never there. And while you were doing God knows what, you left me alone with only mom to take care of me. Hey, don't you dare disrespect your mother's name like that. I'm not disrespecting her name, Dad. I'm disrespecting yours. All right, I admit it. I haven't been the best father, Liz, but I swear to you, I am trying now. You know, Dad, trying now will take back the years that you didn't. I know, Liz. Hey, uh, you might hop in the driver's seat turn the ignition for me to see if we got the same thing. Okay. <coughs> now, <laughs> we did it. Hey, back on the road we go. Oh, and hey, on the way home, we just need to make a quick pit stop at the pet store. Why? Debbie's running low on food. Oh, come on, Liz. It's on the way home. It'll only take a couple minutes. All right. Fine. All right. Let's go. Any chance I can talk you to coming in with me? I really don't want to. Not even if I tell you George Elias works in here? Hey, Liam. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Joe. How you been? Not too bad. Not too bad. And yourself? Oh, you know, I can't complain. Glad to hear it. Glad to... Lizzie. Hey, Joel. Long time no see. Yeah, no kidding. What are you doing back in town? I came to pay my respects to my mom. Oh. Oh, that's right. How long has it been? Two years tomorrow. Oh, shit. Yeah. You know, it's it's a damn shame what happened to Deborah, Frankie. You have my respects if you still want. <laughs> yeah, that's mighty kind of you, Joel. I appreciate it. Anytime. Don't mean to interrupt here, but I've been on a plane for the better half of five hours. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a restroom anywhere here? Sure we do. Um, Head towards the back, take left. It'll be the first door on your right. Thank you. She's, she's grown quite a bit, hasn't she? Hey, watch your mouth, boy. That's my daughter you're gawking at. <laughs> Sorry, Frankie. It's fine. So, what'll it be? Give me another bag of... for you, Frankie. Frank. Can I get the bottle back, please? And now, 
How long? Till I die? No, no, since your diagnosis. Oh, like a little over five months. Frank, I'm so sorry. Don't be, it's bound to happen sooner or later. Does Lizzie know? No, and I don't intend on her finding out. So please don't say anything. Whatever you say, Frankie. What's that noise? The pipes. It's trains every time the toilet's flushed. Does the bathroom always make that sound? Not always. It's been like that for the past eight months. And we're trying to fix it, but uh, you know how plumbing can be. Yeah. Doggy chow? Uh, yeah, right. If uh, you follow me. <laughs> well, I think that just about does it. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks, Jill. Hey, you know, Liz and I are gonna head over to that Liam's house of grubs tomorrow night. If you wanna tag along, you know, give her someone else to talk to besides me. Really? Sure. I mean, if that's okay with you. I'd love that. Great, it's settled. 7.15? Sure. It's a date. Great. See you then. See you then. Bye, Lizzie. Bye, Joel. Took you should have told me. What? I overheard what you and Joel were talking about. And I was gonna say something to you, but I just didn't want to make a scene in front of Joel. Look, Dad, let's just let's let's be honest with each other here. For years, years, I only thought about getting as far away as humanly possible. When college came around, I, I can't even begin to tell you how happy it was to finally get away from you. Liz, I mean... Dad, just listen. But when Mom died and I was forced to see you again, I finally realized something. With Mom dead, there is nothing tying us together anymore. I could literally never talk to you again and just die a happy woman. Liz, how could you pocket? Don't, Dad. But with all that being said, I have never wanted you dead. Never. You're still family. And to learn secondhand that you've been sick for six months is unforgivable. So before you drive us home and, and act all hunky dory and that everything's okay, I just want to know why. But look, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do with Joel. I, I really do. But if you really wanted to bond with me, you wouldn't have lied to me about something like this. Look, it's... I just didn't want you to feel obligated. I want you to feel obligated like you had to come back here and see me because of this. I wanted us to bond over something real. I wanted you to bond with me because you wanted to. Listen, I wanted... I wanted you to... You're bond fucking dying! 
You're dying! Look, Dad, I just want to know why. Why would you think it's okay to lie about something like this? I didn't. So what do we do now? We do what you've been doing since I got here. Try.